Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Richard, founder of Short Term Rental University and Airbnb Superhost. What's on my mind today? It's to think long term. Do not be fooled and go for the short term. Think long term. So what do I mean by this? Look, we're all consumed by the internet. There's tons of ads and gimmicks and things that talk about getting rich quick. Um, whether it be, you know, advertise this or do that or try and set up a funnel. All of these things promise riches, but they're all short-term thinking because none of them really have a very long-term strategic game plan. You might get away with it for a year or two or three, but are you banking on like one or two years of income? Then what? What's the next trade? What's the next gig? What's the next get rich quick scheme that you're going to bounce to? Let's talk about that for a second. What I want to encourage you to do is to think long term. Have a strategy. Have a game plan. Have an understanding that things are going to take way longer than you think and you have to be persistent. And real estate is a prime example of that. The mortgage that you might get is 30 years. That's a long time. It's not 30 minutes. It's not 30 days. So the question is, if you do something short term and it works for a year or two or three, what do you do next? And what I want to encourage you to do is instead of doing that, think about what you want to do over 10 years or 20 years or 30 years and commit to it and make it happen. You're much more likely to succeed doing that, having a game plan and a strategy and thinking long term than if you think the short term. The world's richest man, Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, the entire world thought he was crazy for decades. I'm not talking about quarters or years, I'm talking decades. Wall Street didn't understand them. Amazon did not turn a profit. The multiple was off the roof. Nobody could understand it. It was berserk. It couldn't, it couldn't exist. The thing that made Jeff Bezos the wealthiest man on the planet is that he had a different time frame than the rest of the universe. Now, I've heard a lot about your desk. It's a door with four mm -hmm. by fours. Come on. <laughs> what? I mean, you, you, you can oh. afford a better desk than that. It's a symbol yeah. of spending money on things that matter to customers and not spending money on things that don't. The rest of the universe for publicly listed stocks likes quarterly updates. They get quarterly results and they want to see earnings and they want to see profitability and they want to see cash flow. Jeff Bezos put that all aside and said, you know what? I want to do something over the course of 30 years or 40 years or 50 years that's never been done before. And he committed to that and he put the naysayers out of his mind and he didn't think about it and he lost money and he lost money and he continued to reinvest and continued to reinvest and now Amazon is finally profitable and he's the richest man in the world. If he had done short term gimmicky websites that was selling stuff that people didn't really like or need or want and he was just making some money he wouldn't be the richest man in the world. So there's a lesson in there. We can all learn from the richest man in the world and I want to encourage you to do just that. So I hope you like this video. Please go ahead and like it. And if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube video, think long term, yo. We're doing it here over the long term. Come on along.